it's a long story, but you know this was a career change for me. So it means a lot to me that you're a part of this. Get those arms going. I want you to pay attention. Full range of motion. It's a totally new way of life for me. Grab that water pole. Normal walk. I've been kind of thinking about changing careers. Good. Looks good. I've been in social work for 23 years. Very proud of that. Very passionate about helping people. But I wanted to take my passion for helping people and my passion for health and fitness and go in a different direction. And so I, I guess, took a big leap of faith and I enrolled in a personal training prep class at UW-Madison. Warm up that upper body, shoulders down. I became certified as a personal trainer, then took that a step further and became certified as a water fitness instructor. All right, jog it out. You know you go your own pace, right? I'm doing a lot of things that I always was afraid to do when I was younger. I'm doing them now in my older, <laughs> in my midlife. And and I have to thank Dustin for that. I received an email, uh, it was probably about a month before Christmas time, and there was this guy who wanted to uh, have me come to his house to do personal training with uh, him and his wife and his son. Thinking about the holidays coming up, what would be a nice gift for uh, Karen and I together to do something um, unique and different? My father um, was all very quick. He ended up going in the hospital and within five days he passed away. Very um, pivotal time in my life. I was basically in holding my mom up by one hand and being there for my dad on the other and um, having to pull life support and it was very, very trying. Um, but we got through it and it was right by the holidays too so that made it extra, made it extra difficult. My dad died right before, a couple days before Christmas, and it was a week after we buried him. Um, Jeff, as a Christmas gift to me, bought me a one-time personal training package with Dustin. And I remember thinking, oh, this is really sweet, but what good is one training session gonna do? It was about a two hour drive, hour and a half drive from, from where I was living, and I, I wasn't doing much personal training in homes anymore, but something told me I should do it. It was, life-changing. She was really thin, and that was the biggest thing. She was gaunt. She just didn't look very healthy. I started to talk to her about the importance of, of resistance training. She had done a little bit of it, but she was mostly doing a lot of cardio. Uh, talked about, you know, really focusing on eating healthy, and, and um, I gave her my DVDs when I left, and, and that was basically it. I wrote her out a workout, thought that was going to be the end of it. And I didn't really hear back from her for a long time, and then um, I think I received an email one day just uh, out of the blue saying that you know she was consistently keeping up with the workouts, the DVDs. She had put on I think like six pounds of weight which for her was great. What happened during that one hour session with Dustin is that he gave me a totally different perspective on how to create a fitness plan and I was always kind of mamby-pamby, wishy-washy with weights but I had a definite plan, definite workout and I absolutely love weight training. And I always did steady state cardio, and now I, I learned about burst training and interval training, and I love that too. You can get your cardiovascular workout in in just half the time. When we think back to if that wouldn't have happened for us, um, none of this would have happened. Karen would not be in, in a new career, and she wouldn't be putting all of this uh, positive energy into to helping others with uh, health and fitness. So, so that was a real blessing for us to have that opportunity with Dustin. Yeah, get those arms. Yeah. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. By nature, I'm somewhat of a shyer person, so this has gotten got me it. to go definitely out of my comfort zone. Five, four, three, two, one, and cross country. But after I get going, I love it, and I can see that I, I know that this is benefiting them. And of course, getting the positive feedback encourages me too. I'm gonna live forever, right? Especially after you do this.
I'm mainly working with the older adult population. Now take it to the side and side to side. That is the population I worked with when I was in social work. I feel that that's my niche. Bring it up there, right to the surface of the water. I think that I have that connection. I'm getting that trust factor with my water fitness class. Good. I know some of them nice. have had oh, yeah. many oh, different yeah. instructors younger, and I've gotten comments about it's nice to see someone older generation, midlife, teaching a class. Feel it in those glutes. Gotta move like Jagger. Your kids and grandkids are gonna love the fact that you're dancing to moves like Jagger, Mick Jagger, remember our generation. I would eventually like to have my own fitness business, like that I've already got the name. <laughs> Fit After 50. Take it home. And quarter turn, get in your spot. Fit Moms for Life. What that means to me is it doesn't matter whether you are bringing your children into the world or you're sending them out like I did, that to be a fit mom for life, there's no age barrier to that. That is appropriate and significant for any woman of any age. Every woman deserves to be a fit mom for life. Big yoga breaths, you deserve it. Have a great weekend.